question, how much money would you be willing to spend on a single pair of knitting needles? 10 US dollar, 20, or maybe even 30? Well, one set of these Signature Needle Arts Double Pointed Knitting Needles is 65 US dollars. One set, not a full pouch with five different sets, but one single set of five double pointed knitting needles in three millimeters. And here, these interchangeable knitting needles are almost as expensive. So, in the following couple of minutes, I'm going to take a close look at these needles, often called the most expensive knitting needles in the world, to answer the question, are these Signature Needle Arts needles worth it or not? Is the price fair or is it more like when you buy something from Gucci or Chanel where you are mostly paying for other stuff and not the quality of the physical product itself? Let's dive right into it. Important. This here is a non-sponsored review. I bought all of these needles myself and I don't receive any money from Signature Needle Arts either. And just as important, these needles here are super, super expensive. And I'm very, very aware that a lot of knitters out there either can't or don't want to afford these needles and that is just fine. Still, I recorded this video in the hope that you still find it interesting. Let's address the elephant in the room first. Why are these needles so expensive? Why is one pair of circular needles or one set of double pointed knitting needles more expensive than a full set from some other companies? Well, you know, these needles are not made from pure gold or silver, even though there are sterling silver needles. This here is just normal aluminium and plastic. The biggest difference here is, and at least the one most worth noticing is, that these needles here are handcrafted in the USA, a country where labor is super expensive. Other popular knitting needle brands outsource this. So for example, Chagu is made in China, and Pride is made in India. Still, is that really reason enough? So for example, Adi is 100% made in Germany, a country where the wages and the general standard of living is very comparable. Yet I can buy a similar set of aluminium DPNs for 10 to 15 US dollars and not 65. So I do think we have to dig a little bit deeper. So let's take a closer look at the whys. So the first clue might be the sheer amount of choices you have. So here these are the interchangeable knitting needle tips and as you can see you can get them, sorry, you can get them as 6 inch. 5 inch or 4 inch and then you can for each of these you can choose between the stiletto tips or the well normal a bit more rounded tips they are called midi and the same applies to the double pointed knitting needles so you can get 4 inch 5 inch 6 inch or even 8 inch double pointed knitting needles and for an extra charge they will even personalize these with your monogram or so and this kind of customization typically means that production is a lot more labor intensive simply because a you you need more machines and B there is not a single machine that just spits out the same product over and over. So let's take a closer look at these needles and we'll start with uh, the circulars and later on we'll take a look at the double pointed knitting needles. So here are some of the Signature Needle Arts interchangeable knitting needles. They are called convertible circulars on their website but the principle remains the same. So you have tips and different uh, cable lengths and then you can just uh, screw things together into the socket here on this end and then you can create the circular needle uh, a circular needle with the length of your choice again 
these tips here, these tips are available in different sizes and that I feel that is truly what sets them apart because all other companies typically just offer four or five inch tips but rarely do they offer these uh, six inch needles and if you have bigger hands so most men uh, do have bigger hands that's probably something you will thoroughly enjoy because they will rest so much better in your hands the tips have as you can see at least the stiletto tips have a super super long taper and on the website it says they are hand polished and it definitely has the feeling of a very very high quality finish in fact i'd be willing to say that these are the slickest tips on the market super super fast to knit with and this transition here is utterly seamless you can't really feel it there's no step no gap no nothing so very very nice you get to choose between the stiletto tips and the so-called midi tips here on the right side these here are quite a bit shorter almost on the stubby side so if you are a tight knitter and you prefer plainer patterns then that short taper might be what you are looking for so they are both quite pointy but uh, shorter. For more complicated patterns and stitches or looser knitters I would say the stiletto tips are much better and if you ask me this is what sets these needles apart these midi tips is something you can get around every corner though for the larger sizes I don't have them here because I never knit with large needle sizes maybe the stiletto tips might be a bit too long for slow knitters because after all you always have to push the stitches past the tips and for larger needle sizes this can be a little bit awkward. Now we have to talk about the stiletto in stiletto tips. Here are by comparison some higher higher tips and you can definitely tell that they are much sharper. Even the chao gu tips here on the far right might be a tiny little bit sharper so stiletto it is not that being said you can see that the taper is also quite a bit longer and that definitely is a very pleasant thing and of course the polished finish really makes a noticeable speed difference. If you knit one row with these tips and then one row with the Chagu tips, it really feels a little bit like switching from a Ferrari to a family sedan. It's that noticeable. The actual body of these needles is aluminium and it has this, well, they call it a slip grip technology. Let me try to capture this. So maybe, very maybe, you can see that there are little, little rings circling around the needle. Maybe you can see this. Well, I hope you can. So, of course, this is slippery aluminium, quite slick, but with a noticeable friction. I would say, to me, stainless steel needles like these always feel, well, almost a little bit sticky or oily. And this is a little bit cleaner, for lack of a better word. So, if you are someone who prefers bamboo and other needles with a high friction, then you will definitely feel that this is a little bit too slick. But for me, I do feel it's quite a good balance, though I don't drop stitches either. And if I do, I don't care and fix things. So, this is one step below, say, the Nitrous Pride Nova Platina or the Adi Rockets, which are um, coated all the way through and super slick. So, this is a tiny little bit less slick. Still, these circles also create a very noticeable noise. 
So when you glide them across each other, that's something you notice. So you will also notice this with stainless steel needles, but it is less, with stainless steel needles, it's less intrusive. Here it is a very, very distinct noise. Now, of course, uh, the aluminum is also quite or very extremely light, so you barely notice them. So I'm not really sure, but I don't think these are hollow inside. So they, they are lighter uh, aluminum needles, however, because they are not hollow, I feel they are a lot more durable as well. So it's very, very difficult to bend them. And there are some hollow aluminum needles on the market, like from Adi or so, where you have to be a lot more careful. So in my experience, and I've been knitting with the uh, 2.5 uh, millimeter double pointed knitting needles a lot lately even those don't end up crooked so that's definitely a pro. Now there is another elephant here in the room we need to talk about and it concerns these cables. So there are actually multiple odd ends here we need to discuss. So again this is how you screw things together. There is no keyhole to screw things tight and here this screw itself is somewhat short, so if you compare this screw, the, the actual screw with, say, the uh, Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection here, you can see this screw is quite a bit shorter and this means there's less friction. And this also means it's a lot easier to unscrew. Here, these are swivel cables. So, you can rotate these needles around in the socket and this kind of discourages uh, unscrewing while knitting. I have to say it didn't really happen while I was knitting, but then again I wasn't knitting a sweater either. So I guess they picked this system to achieve one transition and not many. So by comparison here we have some uh, Chaogu needles and you have a transition here a little taper then you have this transition and this transition and here you only have one transition and I do have to say that this swivel technology is actually quite nice so let's put a yarn here on the needle and then as you can see I'm pulling out and, and it is there is no step it is just utterly seamless By comparison, here let's pick these Chagu needles and they already have the best transition and if I do the same, can you see there are two little steps. So the yarn does, and these aren't even the swivel cables, so I think these transitions are actually very very nice and probably better than the Chagu transitions. Still, the lack of this little keyhole means you don't have a lifeline hole either. Now, I personally never use lifelines, but a lot of people enjoy that safety net. So that's definitely something to consider. And there's no little cleft here or so to insert a lifeline either, like the Adi needles do. So uh, do keep that in mind. Let's zoom in a little bit further. So here, this transition is smooth but not utterly unnoticeable. So when I glide across it with my fingertip, I don't really notice it. But here I can, my fingernail catches. So I would say it's a tiny fraction, a, really a tiny fraction uh, worse than the Chagu Choin, which is in a, my opinion currently the smoothest on the market. So here not even my fingernail catches. But of course if you glide across it with your finger you barely notice it. And as you've seen with my yarn test just a couple of seconds before, the behavior of this transition, this one smooth transition is, or the performance is a lot better than here, this staggered transition. So that's definitely also something to keep in mind.
Another thing that truly sets these signature needle arts needles apart are these cables. Now, obviously, if you prefer wire cables, this like Chagu or the Knitter Sprite Mindful Collection, this set is probably not for you. That being said, I personally never was a big fan of wire cables to begin with, even remote, not even remotely. So what I really like about these cables, they don't actually have the most pronounced uh, memory effect. So they curl up a tiny bit, but it's not, you know, one curled mess. But they are just so, so malleable. Try to do that with Knitter's Pride or Chagu cables and also they don't really kink. So let's try this. Let's try to add a kink here. So not even here, a tiny little bit and then I stretch things out and it's gone. Try that with Chagu cables or Nether Sprite cables and you will instantly notice the difference. So if you are someone who likes to knit a traveling magic loop, well these are a pure joy to knit with because you can squeeze these cables through the stitches so, so easily. Something that doesn't really work with wire cables at all. And even the Knitter Sprite standard cables, you know, these purple ones, are often not really suitable for a traveling magic loop and this here is a true Joy. So just by comparison, these are some higher higher cables so you can see the difference in the curliness already. But you will also see that these signature needle arts uh, cables are a lot thicker and that definitely prevents messing up your stitch definition. I always felt that these higher higher cables were very flexible and likable where the other cables were a tiny little bit too thin and these are I think very very strong contenders for the best plastic cables on the market. There is however one big big problem. So these cables here, these cables here only work for these uh, four millimeter tips. So if I wanted to screw these, what are these? Um, these are the 3.25 millimeter needles into these cables it doesn't work and likewise I couldn't screw these here into these cables. So I really appreciate that they offer cables up to 60 inches. That's very, very nice. However, having all these different uh, cables kind of turns these into little better things than fixed circular. So you have one tip and then you need four cables and in the sizes that you like and then you have the second tip and you need a full other set of cables and it's also very confusing to store. I mean the sizes, the size of each cable. Let's see if you can see this. So the size of each cable is etched into the socket but you know still and it gets even more confusing. So when you shop spare cables they have you uh, picking a uh, needle tip length. So uh, these four millimeter needles here, these, uh, th these are the six inch tips, uh, the same cable works but I do believe that the way they calculate the cable length matters but uh, it's probably good to know that despite the somewhat confusing um, description on the website you can use the same four millimeter cables for all needle tip lengths that at least is a relief at least if you ask me. As a result I do feel this product is more geared towards people who typically prefer to knit with one or two needle sizes and need some options in between. So take me for example. I rarely if ever knit with needles above four millimeters. So I typically just knit with two millimeters, 2.5 millimeters or three millimeter needles and maybe then a sweater with four millimeters and that's why I have these needles. And it limits uh, things and expenses. But if you 
you are a knitter who knits all across the board with two millimeter needles, one project, the next with 10 millimeters needles, I don't know, it would require some serious knitting needle management system to keep things organized. I mean, where do you put all these cables setting the price aside and they don't even offer a proper pouch on their website? So the, the needles themselves only come in these uh, kind of paper envelopes. I mean, it's nice that they don't use too much plastic, but still, uh, I, I wouldn't know how to organize my full set if I had one and uh, setting aside that it is so expensive. One last note here, so they also offer fixed circular needles, they call them circular sock needles for whatever reason, and here these cables are a little bit more rigid than these other, these black cables, so you can definitely tell a difference, and they don't, they, they don't have a swivel socket either. Now here this join, let's zoom in a little bit, so here this join is nice, but you can definitely notice a step, so it's pretty average and nothing that gets me excited either. And these cables here, these cables are just standard plastic cables, nothing, uh, nothing exciting or worth noting. And the tips here are of course the same tips, so these are nice. So all in all I would say it's a solid product, nice tips, slick body, kind of noisy body, but here this transition is somewhat substandard and here the cable is nothing special either. It's a solid product, but not sure if it's really worth the high, high price point of 47 US dollar a pair. So, well, I don't know. Possibly if you enjoy these tips so much, then this could be an option. Let's take a look at the Signature Needle Arts Double Pointed Knitting Needles next. As you can see, they come in these handy little plastic tubes. These are airtight. I mean, aluminum doesn't oxidize, but still this makes storing these needles rather easy. So as you can see, the basic construction remains the same. You have the these colorful aluminum bodies slash stalks and then the, these still polished stiletto sharp tips on either end. As you can see, they come in four different lengths. So you have four inch, five inch, six inch, and even eight inch double pointed knitting needles. And that is a fact that I personally highly enjoy. I mean, when it comes to knitting magic loop, a cable that is maybe five or 10 inches longer than you absolutely need may be a mild annoyance. But when you're knitting the fingers of gloves, then uh, doing that with six inch needles can quickly become very frustrating. So I really enjoy that they are offering these super small needles. The only other company that does this is Knitter's Pride. They also offer uh, these um, super short needles, but only they don't have this middle size and they only offer it for some of their double pointed knitting needle sets and not for all. So this here, this wide size range is definitely something that sets Signature Needle Arts and needles apart. One note here, the four inch needles, they have one, well, blunt end, the midi end, and one stiletto end. Apparently this is done for optimal hand comfort. Well, I don't know about that. I personally would rather prefer if um, both ends had the same tips, but that's that. Just something you may want to know. Again, under magnification, these here are the tips. So super sharp, a very, very long taper. And by comparison, so here, these are the Chagu needles and these are the Nitrous Pride carbons. And you can clearly say, see that there is a world of a difference. So these are so much sharper and you can also see that the taper is much longer. Well, 
couple of millimeters, but at this size, a couple of millimeters matter. So to me, the length of these tips is pure luxury. So it's perfect for all complicated patterns where you need to knit cables without a cable needle or any type of lace. So I would call myself an experienced knitter, but of course, once in a while, when you have to cross a cable, you split the yarn or, you know, you just don't find the entry uh, or the entrance for that pearl to together through the back loop. And with other needles, say with these Changu needles, this happens, let's say one out of 10 times. And with these, well, I mean, this is entirely subjective, but I would say maybe once out of 50 times, I feel it makes that much of a difference. So I'm utterly in love with these. The body of these needles also has this, well, they call it a slip grip profile. And in the case of these DPNs, I feel it makes even more sense because circulars rarely slip out, but double pointed knitting needles, well, I'm sure a lot of people have fought with dropped stitches when knitting socks or so. And these do have a nice friction while still being reasonably slick. I mean, it's not like bamboo. And I would say, you know, the Knitter's Pride Carbons needles here have a better body, but experienced knitters will definitely enjoy them. So for beginners, it might still be a little bit too slippery. As you can see, the size is also etched into these needles, nice and bold and easily visible. They're also color coded. I just wish they would use the same colors for the DPNs and the circular. So in this case, green, it means here green, sorry, green DPNs means 2.25 uh, millimeter needles and green circulars are four millimeter needles. So, well, and in case you were wondering, this transition here is utterly unnoticeable. There is no gap. So even if I force my nail into it, you, well, maybe you will notice it, maybe a hunch of a hunch. So there's no gap or so. By comparison here, these carbon needles, which I also really, really like here, you can actually see a little gap and you can notice it. Now, I personally don't mind that at all, but as some people do in here, you get an utterly seamless transition. So that part also speaks for the craftsmanship. The only negative aspect here is the noise. Now, when you're knitting with circulars, you rarely scratch the needles across each other like this. So that is typically only a mild annoyance. But when you're knitting with double pointed knitting needles, you will do exactly that with every turn of the needle. So you are probably sliding these stitches here further towards the middle. So these two needles rub against each other and then you will bring these stitches further towards the tip and then uh, the needles are rubbing against each other again. So if you are a sensitive person, this kind of uh, scratchy rubbing kind of noise will probably drive you insane. And to tell you the truth, it, for the longest time, that was what kept me from using these needles. This noise is quite intrusive. And uh, now, but uh, now I often knit with a kind of background noise, so I don't know this, notice it anymore. Now, my partner is always amazed which noises I notice or find annoying or distracting. And you probably know if you hear your neighbor coughing the same time in a day or that cat meowing across the street or not. But if you do, be careful. Now, before I share my final verdict here, um, one note, Signature Needle Arts also offer single pointed knitting needles. Now I never knit with single pointed knitting needles, so I don't own them. And even if I did, I don't feel I would be in a position to offer any guidance in that regard. 
Now, all in all, there is no denying that the price point of these, ne these knitting needles is beyond hefty. If you want to own a full set of double pointed knitting needles and a full set of interchangeable knitting needles with all cable links, you will pretty much surpass the 1000 US dollar mark. And that's the kind of money a lot of people cannot afford, even if they save for a long time. And I can only speak for myself, but I run this uh, YouTube channel and my website um, in a way that the basics are accessible to everyone and not the only the selected few who can afford it. At the same time, one could question whether you really need a full set. I'm reasonably sure that I have never used half of the sizes in most of my other sets. And in a similar vein, offsetting costs by producing products under dubious conditions in sweatshops abroad could be seen as, you know, well, just a modern variation of colonialism or slavery. Now, setting these moral concerns aside, I do have to say that these double-pointed knitting needles are beyond the mind. I literally love everything about them and I do have to say that at least for me, these are definitely the best double-pointed knitting needles on the market with a very wide margin. I do wish they had 2mm needles and I wish they were not as noisy. And they are super noisy, something even not so sensitive people will definitely notice. But if I could only take one set of 2.5 or 3mm needles to my grave, then without hesitation these would be it. When it comes to these circulars, I am less convinced. So yes, the needle tips are slick. They are truly a joy to knit with, but maybe actually a tiny little bit too blunt for my taste. So in terms of tips, I actually still prefer the higher, higher needles when it comes to lace and these kind of patterns. The cable system with all these different cables for each tip, no lifeline hole and a swivel cable, which I hate, you don't have the option. Well, I do think there are better options on the market even though, and as I've shown, this connection here is actually better than all the other competitors. Now here, these cables are certainly super malleable and I do feel they did quite a, a smart uh, job here and they are a joy to knit with when you're doing traveling magic loop. I just wish there were adapters or something like that. I also wish they would offer a proper bag and not just these cardboard things. I mean, the knitting industry really does need more plastic, but for long-term storage, these, these tubes are nice, but that's, well, I mean, sure, I can go to Etsy and buy a pouch, but then again, the individual demands of this particular set will make it rather difficult to find something suitable because you need just so many cables, you have uh, tips in different lengths. So, um, you know, if you found something that works, uh, please comment below, but I, well, I have a system, but it's not the best. At the end of the day, you have to be aware that for I don't know, three or five times the price, you don't get three or five times the quality. Maybe 10, maybe 20%. And even then I've shown, or hopefully I've shown, that Chagu, Knitter's Pride, or Higher Higher outperform these in certain areas. And of course, they do offer a lifetime warranty, but a lot of other companies do as well. So Chagu does or Adi does. So, I do feel it really boils down to whether you will or won't miss those uh, 47 US dollars. Uh, that's the price they charge for this, this knitting needle set. So if you don't, well, certainly give it a try. Test one needle and take it from there. These circulars, I do feel, well, for that kind of price, they are kind of meh. Here, these double-pointed knitting needles, why even pricier, are still divine.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Signature Needle Arts Needles review. I for one am very happy that I don't have to repeat this tongue twister. Signature Needle Arts Needles one more time today. Comment below if you still have any questions and of course do remember to check out all the other knitting needle reviews here on my channel and as always happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day.